do subscribe to ekeda channel and press bell icon to get updates about latest engineering hsc and iit je main and advanced videos hello friends in the last lecture we have studied that what is molar volume and related to that we have also know that is what is molar mass and what is atomic mass so based on this all uh, factors now we are going to learn a new thing that is known as avogadro's law so what is avogadro's law and what are the significance let us see so friends as mentioned on your screen i am talking about avogadro's law which is it states that equal volume of different gases under identical condition of pressure and temperature contains equal number of molecules so let me elaborate this thing we can say that is the number of particles of gas if the number of particles will be increase then eventually the volume of the gas will also increase so in this case what they are talking about is that the volume of different gases under identical condition of pressure and temperature contains equal number of molecules suppose if i have given you an example of carbon dioxide and uh, a gas like uh, h2o which is present in a vapor format so if i talk about carbon dioxide and which is present in a particular volume suppose if i uh, tell you as 22.4 dm cube of volume and while that of the h2 molecules is also been uh, contained in a uh, container which is having a uh, volume of 22.4 liter so in this case as you can observe that the volume is been fixed that is 22.4 liter and again 22.4 liter so this is the uh, fixed value that i am talking about but the gases that i have been mentioned uh, with you is nothing but carbon dioxide and h2 gas and the both the gases are different so the both the gases which are different and which are being contained in a similar volume that is 22.4 liter and now in this case when i will calculate that what would be the number of particles or what would be the number of moles it would be the same so this means avogadro's law so let me tell you again by the definition so that you could understand it in a very better way so let us see it says that equal volume of different gases so in this example i have said 22.4 liter which having equal volume of gases okay but for different gases that is for carbon dioxide and for h2 under identical condition in this case the identical condition means i am talking about stp or ntp that is standard temperature and pressure the temperature and the pressure should be constant and it should not be changed because if this factors that is the temperature and pressure if this will change then it would affect the number of particles or it would affect the volume of the gases so in this case it will be containing equal number of molecules so when we are talking about equal number of molecules that means we are talking about the particles that it will contain equal number of particles so this is avogadro law and based on that thing let us see what are the significance and from this thing what next we could find out from avogadro law that is significance of avogadro law this is significance of avogadro law so let us study one by one in a very deep detail the first thing is this law distinguish between atoms and molecules the first of all thing avogadro law it relates to the number of particles that is been uh, fix, uh, that is been mentioned in a fixed amount of volume so in this case if a molecule is been present so we could easily estimate that the number of particles that we have calculated will be for the molecules while or else it would be for the atoms and hence from avogadro law we have clearly differentiated or we could differentiate that is the atoms and molecules talking about the next one that is it explains the gay lussac law of combining volume of gases so at stp since gay lussac law is also uh, being concerned towards the stp as well as the avogadro law is also being concerned towards the stp so in the both the cases they are related to gas means they are related to the volume of gases and as we have did uh, gay lussac law of combining volumes in our previous lecture also so from that thing also it has been clearly mentioned that this avogadro law that is it explains clearly gay lussac law of combining volume now talking about the next one that is the third point that is it gives a relationship between molar weight that is molecular weight and vapor density which has a relation like molar molecular weight is equals to two times that of vapor density so this is the formula that we have got from avogadro law itself so this are the three significance but yes there are more significance from uh, because of which avogadro law plays a very vital role in calculation of the number of particles of a gas molecules so the next is 
this one this made a clear conclusion that molar volume of all gases is 22.414 dm cube at stp so this is what we have calculated and how can we calculate let me give an example of that too afterwards so now we are going and we are moving towards that is uh, by using this avogadro law we could estimate this kind of uh, terms that is first we could clearly uh, estimate that what would be the molar weight of a gaseous compound we could estimate that what would be the atomicity we could estimate what would be the atomic weight as well as we could determine that is what is the number of the molecules that is present in the given particular volume of a gas so this all thing can be explained or can be determined by using avogadro law so now let me tell you that how the avogadro law plays a very important role and how do we get this that is 22.414 dm cube of volume for a particular molar volume if i am talking about so let me give an example as you know that is according to avogadro law if the number of volume of gases increases that means i am talking about then the number of particle will also increase so in this case volume is directly proportional to n means if the volume of the gases increases that means it has a possibility that the number of particle of the gas will also be more or i could uh, explain it in a vice versa way that is at stb suppose if the number of particles of the gas are been increased so eventually that is the volume of the gas will always and also will be increased so in this case the volume is directly proportional to the number of particles of the gaseous molecules at stb so we also know that if i take v divided by n then the value that i will get is a constant value so this is what we will get that is v divided by n is nothing but a constant value but according to ideal gas equation that is this equation we know already that is ideal gas equation which means pv is equals to nrt so in this case i could write it as that v divided by n which will be nothing but a constant value that means i am talking about rt divided by p in this case p is nothing but pressure uh, the r is nothing but the gas constant while t is the temperature that i have been maintaining and in this case what i am talking about i am talking about stp temperature that means when i am talking about temperature in this case so the temperature is 273 kelvin and when i am talking about the pressure the pressure is maintained at one atmosphere while talking about this gas constant this gas constant has a value of 0.082 that is liter atmosphere per mole per kelvin and that of the temperature has a unit of kelvin and while that of the pressure has a unit of one atmosphere so let me give you that what would be the calculation of that so the temperature is being maintained at 273 while that of the pressure is being maintained at one atmosphere so after calculating this thing the number that we will get is nothing but 22.4 liter so friends the value that we could easily get is 22.4 liter but what would be the unit of it the unit of it would be liter per mole or dm cube per mole how can we get this value as because as we know that the gas constant has a unit of liter atmosphere per mole per kelvin while that of the uh, temperature has a unit of kelvin in this case that is uh, talking about the next one in this case what i am talking about is the gas constant has a value of liter atmosphere per mole per kelvin while that of the temperature has a unit of kelvin itself divided by the pressure that is in this case the pressure has a unit of atmosphere so in this case the kelvin kelvin will get cancelled out with each other and again atmosphere atmosphere will cancel out with each other and the thing that is left with me is nothing but mole sorry liter per mole so that is how i could estimate and from this thing only we have clearly mentioned that v divided by n is nothing but the molar volume so this is how we have expressed and this all was possible because of avogadro's law and this would be a very influential thing in solving the problems so i hope that uh, you have liked this video and you will share this video with your friends and i hope you have understood this concept so share this video with your friends and yes don't forget to subscribe eGita channel thank you so much